Hello and welcome to another update video about Cardano. I felt uh, it's time for another Cardano update today because I need to pay some tribute to Cardano that is finally trying to break out here. We finally see some movement. We saw it already in the video um, earlier today, this morning. You know, we we talked about um, the descending channel here out of which Cardano did break out. We talked about the descending wedge out of which Cardano broke out. We talked about the descending wedge before Cardano broke out. And after it broke out, and also before it broke out above the 20 day moving average yeah here where I told you then that is the next level we need to get above and then we could see a bit of a boost and we saw that boost and we've now reached the price target um that we talked about so this zone here that i still have on the chart that is ranging between 97 cents and one dollar and one um so that is what we need to get through um, we also talked here in the earlier video about the potential of a reversal pattern forming here. So a so-called cup and handle where you could form your cup here and then we could come down, retest that uh, level again. Yeah, that ascending trend line and then maybe forming that, yeah, that handle pattern. Maybe here a little bit of a sideways movement and then get that breakout to the upside. That um pattern yeah if we just use the pattern as a guide that level or price could take us all the way up to so we always take the height of that pattern here in this case the cup and handle add it to the breakout point that could take us all the way up to uh, one dollar and 17. now i always say I take these technical patterns uh, with a pinch of salt. You know, I'm not a great friend of them. Cup and handle I really like because it just means that what you're doing here, you're making basically, you've got an accumulation phase, then you make another higher low, which means the buyers are getting stronger and then you get the breakout. Um, do we really always see these price targets? To be honest, from my experience, not always. Um, but um, it is a good guide. It's a good guide and starting to look interesting here on the Cardano chart. And you know, on this channel, we've remained bearish, uh, bullish, not bearish. <laughs> we've remained bullish on Cardano anyway throughout. But is this already the breakout that we've been waiting for? Now, the honest answer is I don't know. I don't know. Um, we certainly identified on this channel the breakout patterns, especially here that descending wedge, which is looking very, very interesting, very, very close and very similar to what we did earlier in 2021, where you also here see that in orange, that descending wedge. And when you then broke above the 20 day moving average here, that was, I think, middle no, around the 26th of July, then we really started to get going. Now, could that happen? Of course it could. Um, and uh, however, we need to get above this green green level here, um, which is very important because it is that previous high. We had a high here, so basically resistance here before, and we had a lot of support on that level before as well, here throughout January 2022. And this is the level one dollar and one. I mean, it's not only relevant here. This level was relevant throughout 2021 as well. Yeah, so it's not only here uh, an irrelevant level of support or resistance. No, it is not. And you know, on this channel, we we um, we talked about Cardano throughout the last bull run. And I remember when we broke all these important levels and how it felt when we really kicked off and moved all the way up to above three dollars. Um, really great feeling. And I think it, it you know. If it is happening now, great. Personally, I don't think it's going to happen yet. These moves here to the upside, we've seen them before. Yeah, D don't get me wrong. Yeah, I'm super excited here and it's nice to see it happen. But we've seen these moves here. We've seen them here. Yeah, we've seen them here. All these peaks here, here as well. So again, it's still a bit too early for me personally to get into the hype already and to uh, to be super bullish, um, I mean, I am super bullish on Cardano, but we always need to understand, you know, is the correction over or not? From my point of view, it's just too early to say that yet. Uh, as I told you before, Cardano has fulfilled the minimum requirements for the correction. The next logical support would be this area here. And that is still actually my primary expectation that we're going to see the price. But as I said, the minimum requirements for the correction has been done. Um, Cardano has fulfilled its ABC correction. It's actually due a move up as well because it has corrected that long that, um, you know, it's it's just due a move. And also what we need to understand, there's a hard fork coming up yeah, a little bit later in the year. And typically when you get a hard fork, 
whatever card fork it is, you see a price jump before that. We've seen that before, and we just need to be aware. I think, I think we've seen it numerous times now. The buy the rumors, sell the news, that before something happens, you see those prices jump up, and then when it's happening or during, yeah, actually when it's happening or after it happens, the prices are starting to crash again. So I'm just conscious of that, yeah, that this could also be an effect, um, maybe a bit too early for that now, but we have seen that before, before the last few hard forks, that a couple of months before we saw prices start to go up and anybody who's panicking now about FOMOing in, buying now, personally, I wouldn't even consider that FOMO um, we are still below a dollar. Look at what we've done. We've only moved this little bit here. If you zoom out, we are still very, very, very much at the beginning. Should this be the beginning of a new uptrend? We are still very, very much at the beginning. Um, overall, for me, it is really interesting to take those larger swing trades and then take profit when we get close to the all-time high and then leave a good chunk for the next price target, which would be at least the 1.618 so i think that would be my strategy i'll take some profits um before the all-time high if we then get a rejection i'll probably buy again what i will then do when we break through the all-time high that i'm going to take profits close to the 1.618 extension i'll just not take profits before that i just don't i don't want to yeah obviously before the all-time high yes but i leave most of it for that 1.618 extension but that is the minimum target so i see actually higher prices here um, all the way up to the 2.618 extension, but I cannot really say where we will go until we understand how the price structure is now going to look uh, like, yeah, how the next few weeks are going to develop and how the next few days are going to develop because we are most likely getting above the 1.618 because you're not get just going to do five waves now to the upside. You're going to do various sub waves. You're going to do a series of one, two setups and the uh, all of these need to be closed again and therefore you are typically going to get to um, the higher level extensions yeah maybe like the 2.618 uh, we've seen that before maybe even the 3.618 Fibonacci extension and um, yeah looking really good and really good to see finally Cardano to move yeah and as I said I think we could get a rejection here now and really build that um, cup and handle pattern that we talked about in the previous video do we go through through here straight away you know, it's possible. I don't think so without a pullback. I don't think so. Um, but what we typically see when we are back in a, when we are in a bull run or we start a bull run, then we see unexpected things happen and we see certain resistance levels to get broken. Like, you know, you cut through butter with a knife. It's just you, you don't even see them. And that is typically a good sign that we start a bull run when you cut through all sorts of resistance levels that people think are important resistances when you just start to cut through them okay um we i'm very conscious that on the eight hour chart we are now overbought here um and again the, the the price chart can hold such a high level for several weeks but you are now very much overbought and even here you're not yet overbought on the daily chart um or well, let me just go back to the eight hour did i see that wrong didn't want to tell you any. No, we are overbought on the eight hour, yes, but we are not yet overbought on the daily. And it really seems to be uh, playing out what I told you in the earlier video that when we break above that 50 level of the RSI, you really get those breakouts. Yeah, we talked about that numerous times. A breakout above the 50 level of the RSI is very important for Cardano. Um, not in the same fashion for many other cryptos. Yeah, I've seen it for Cardano, however. And because Cardano was really, really stuck below that 50 level, and whenever we saw a spike above that, that was a real breakout um, in terms of uh, volume and everything, but they were also fake outs, yeah? So it's important to hold above it, but typically it is much more um, objective than just looking at a potential breakout pattern because the RSI, you can just draw a horizontal line and you can draw patterns in different ways, but the RSI is just, you just draw that horizontal line and then a breakout above that level gives you the catalyst of a, of a you know, a faster move up. And that is what we what we see here. So there is more scope for further upside on the daily and it's really looking good. But then again, it's really only starting as well on the higher time. And if we go to the, the four day chart, that was a buy signal as well. We had it, um, we talked about in the last few days as well a buy um a bullish crossover on the four day macd yeah that is very relevant the four day chart is relevant 
I mean, the last time we had such a breakout, yeah, or such a bullish crossover in the same fashion, um, we moved to, to new all-time highs, okay? So that is certainly something I don't want to hide from you. Um, and on the weekly chart here, we are constantly continuing to reduce that negative momentum. I think that is looking interesting as well. And, and I remember we talked about that in a previous video as well here on the weekly, we talked about this started to turn around. We talked about it um, in one of the last videos that on the stochastic on the weekly, we saw a turnaround. And this is interesting. This is really, really good and really bullish. Yeah. And again, we had a bit of a fake out here, but now we are much higher. And the last time again, that happened we had um, new all-time highs coming. So I'm uh, not going to um, ma make you FOMO in any anything here because I think a price below a dollar for Cardano is still interesting and very, very attractive. And it's always interesting how perspectives change, right? I mean, I remember when we were at $2 and people were like, oh, I wish I would have a Cardano below 150 or whatever, or ADA below 150. And then I had comments last time where someone said, oh, I missed buying at 85 cents. Now I have to FOMO in at 90 cents again. And, you know, we, we are in the grand scheme of things. We are still very much at the beginning. Um, I still think there will now be a bit of a consolidation and, and a drop coming um, after such a strong increase. But again, we Cardano completed the, did the minimum requirements to complete a correction. Yeah. Um, and it did a lower low. Yeah. You see that wave A low and we've now made a lower low. So from that point of view, Cardano is finished with a correction. We just now need that structure that will support new all-time highs. The indicators looking good as well. Yeah, we start to turn around on those higher time frames, and they were very low anyway, those indicators. So from that point of view, Cardano is very well equipped for a new uh, bull run, absolutely. Yeah, um, We are not yet seeing a change in the um, in the monthly, but what is certainly very, very interesting and important is that here on the monthly RSI, you are finding support exactly at the 50 level, yeah, which is the bullish one. So you find support here and that is interesting. And if that holds, yeah, and you stay in bullish momentum on the monthly, then the MACD will turn around as well. Maybe last uh, check on the ADA BTC chart. I haven't checked that for the last couple of days. What is ADA BTC doing? Um, excuse me, I've got here a bit of a touch screen problem. Um, but again, here as well, you see it on the monthly, but let's just go to the eight hour chart as well. You see how that support level that we talked about in the last video, that very relevant support level seems to hold at the moment here. That did hold first good sign. But again, what is coming up here is currently not too convincing on the AWTC chart. But for now, the support seems to be holding. So generally, summary for me, starting to look really good for Cardano. We see a first impulsive move to the upside. Uh, we just now need a bit more patience to see how this is going to develop. We need to get above that $1 and one level, certainly. That's another good confirmation for an uptrend. And I think we are um, just, um, yeah, sort of at, at a decision point here. Do we really break through that green zone I showed you? Or will this just be another fake out? Yeah, and I can't tell you, but certainly um, it's starting to look good. Yeah, we, we just have to be a bit patient. And here it comes into the, the decision or the, the difference between a trader or an investor. If you're an investor, like uh, mainly I am, um, but I'm also a trader, but um, mainly in Cardano, I am interested in more like the higher level uh, waves that I want to take, but I'm not going to take profit here. You know, for me, is it far too speculative? It should, it could just go through now. And I'm not gonna, um, I'm not gonna um, yeah, take any profits now. Anybody who wants to do that could obviously pull up their stop loss. That is certainly a possibility if you're using a stop loss uh, as a trader. That is certainly one viable strategy to deal with that, in order not to exit too early and exiting before we break here. Any trend line to the downside would be. Um, not advisable, uh, I think. I, I would usually wait until a trend line is broken because until then, we want to ride the trend until the end, isn't it? And uh, <coughs> you can see that we are still above this ascending trend line here. Looking good so far. Personally, as I said, I would expect a bit of a pullback that we can create, hopefully, a cap and handle pattern that could give it another boost all the way up and potentially even to that next high at 126. Interesting day 
Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and uh, subscribe. And if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.